Okay, um, so let's try this uh, mechanism that was on the quiz. Uh, this is essentially the DCC coupling. So remember, the DCC is the coupling reagent. Remember, we talked about that in class, okay? So it's going to effectively connect the uh, amine, benzyl amine here with acetic acid. So you see here we've taken uh, carboxylic acid and a primary amine and we've made this amide with from them, okay? So uh, you can also see it's a dehydrating reagent. We lose water, okay? So um, uh, since it asks us write the mechanism, we're going to have to erase all this. And unfortunately, if we don't know what DCC looks like, then we're kind of up a creek. We won't be able to do this one at all, okay? Um, for me, personally, I like to... Um, put them all into a bond line form and start from there, okay? This is a rather involved mechanism, so we're probably going to have to race a couple of times on this small board. Okay, so let's erase everything. So remember this one, okay? Because you remember, you have to remember where you're going or you're never going to get there, okay? So, and I'm going to take a seat of cast. And actually, we don't need the benzylamine at this point in the reaction yet, because the carboxylic acid is actually going to react with the DCC first, okay? okay. So, um, so, we've got acetic acid. Put the lone pairs, it often helps, okay? Um, DCC, remember, dicyclohexyl carbodiimide, okay? So if you remember the name, it kind of helps you to remember the structure, okay? So So this stuff is good because it's got um, like these big alkyl groups on it and it can dissolve it into organic solvents, okay? Um, so what happens here, the first step is going to be the electrons on the oxygen here, remember they're nucleophilic. Um, and this is a really electrophilic carbon here, it's got these two double bonds, um, right? Uh, bonded to the two nitrogens next to it. So um, this sp um, carbon is very electrophilic, so it's going to be attacked like that by that oxygen. That's going to make this bond knock up to the amp. Okay, so remember you've got to have the one arrow attack before the other one gets knocked away. So does that make sense, yes. that first step? Okay, so remember, if you don't know what DCC looks like, you're not gonna be able to do this reaction. Okay, so you gotta memorize that structure. Okay, so. just going to keep this uh, make this carbon so it's this carbon here. Okay. Um, we also have a positive charge there. Okay. Remember since there's zero overall charge here, we've got to have a zero overall charge here, okay? So uh, then I'm going to uh, just say a base comes in, okay? Mm -hmm. You can imagine that there's more than one of these types of intermediates within your solution, so this would be a, 
potential base for this reaction or something later on in the uh, reaction sequence. You'll see a few other things with negative charges in there that could potentially be bases within the reaction solution. So I'm just going to put generic base, okay? So put base like that, like we often do. And that's going to deprotonate that proton there. Okay, so remember, this can't reach around this negative charge here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that can't yeah. reach around and grab that proton, okay? So we're going to have to have some other base do it. Okay. And then some acid is going to protonate that proton in the next step. Okay. okay? So are we cool with that one? Yes. There? Okay. So. So when doing this reaction, you got to remember you're going to need a lot of room because of how big these structures get. acid base reaction so we'll keep using the equilibrium arrows. So something like that, and plus the B, it's electrons. Okay, I get that. Okay, so now the benzyl amine comes in. Okay. So the other reagent that was at the, that we added in the starting materials, do you remember from a while back we just erased it at the okay. beginning? Yeah. So the benzyl amine. So let's just draw it, because that's when, this is when it comes in. So again, I like to draw it to where we can see all of the important bonds are really being shown. And the lone pair of electrons, like that. So, uh, what you may see, remember, right, is the carbon of a carbonyl group is very electrophilic, okay? okay? Also, what we've done here is we've made a really good leaving group. So this thing here that I'm circling, yes. when, it, when this 
this is attacked and it comes back down, it's going to make this um, small molecule that's uh, very stable unto itself. It's called dicyclohexylurea. Okay. And it really, you'll see the solid stuff come and precipitate out of the reaction, you know. It's white. And it gives you an indication as to when your reaction is done as well. Okay. But anyways, um, it's very, I mean, it says it's easy to separate. I personally have used it, and it'll get all the way through your column and stuff. So it's not the easiest thing, but it is very, oh, it's fairly insoluble into inorganic solvent. So anyways, let's go ahead and attack. So I kind of drew it on the wrong side, so we're going to have to go all the way around. Okay. So like that. So again, once this thing comes back down, it's going to make this really good leaving group get kicked off. So does it make sense to where we have gotten to right now? So far, so good, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do the next step, if we're cool? Okay. okay. Wonderful. So like we are saying, just like normal, these electrons are going to come back and kick back down, just like that reaction you've seen a million times, okay? so. Those are going to come back down, make that carbonyl group again, but instead of kicking this back off, the amine, mm -hmm. it's going to kick the oxygen off here. So what's going to happen is kind of this cascade, like this, okay, okay. and um, then like this. You can think of it as deprotonating here, or there's these acids in here, so we'll just put an acid. So, like that. Remember, it probably won't deprotonate this one because it's too close. Okay. It's on the same molecule. Can I erase all this other stuff on the other side of the board? Okay. So that's that reaction there is uh -huh. the driving force of the mechanism. That's where our forward arrow is. And that's the dicyclohexylurea coming out, and I'll show it to you. Which one is the dicyclohexylurea? You'll, you'll see it actually in two seconds. I'll draw it for you.
this is DC disequilibrium, that thing there, the byproduct of the reaction. Okay, so try to get that from this step here. But it's not the important portion. Mm -hmm. This is the important portion. Okay. okay, and we have some base in there. We're going to do the last step of the reaction here. Okay. And that's going to just deprotonate one of these protons. Give the electrons to the nitrogen there mm -hmm. and make the amide. Okay, so we'll do it this way. So the final product of the reaction is this thing here. Okay, so <laughs> any more questions on the camera? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful.